Just you've been back for preseason games, but like, what's what's it like being back for a regular season game and having a normal morning skate and spending the night here and stuff? Oh uh, yeah, it's different. I mean, just the riding from the airport and all that, and seeing some of the guys last night, and um, yeah, I guess just kind of being like staying overnight, just a little bit different. Um, I had that one game in preseason with Mini. Um, you're in and out, so. Um, it's nice to be back. I definitely miss the city and the mountains and the views and all that stuff. But it's good to see the guys. And um, yeah, it's a little weird, but yeah, it's cool to be back. What did you guys do last night? Uh, we went out to dinner. We went to Uchi uh, with Comp. So um, even a mini two, we had probably ten or ten or so guys that oh, went nice. out to dinner. So um, yeah, it's, it's just good to see everyone. Have you kept in touch with a lot of the guys since? I mean, it's not been that long since you left, but have you been in touch with a lot of them? Yeah, just texting and FaceTiming the whole time and. I'm um, just keeping tabs on everyone, so yeah, for sure, I mean, you grow a lot of friendships, and those guys are some of my best friends over there, so I'm um, pretty sure you do. Um, you've you've kind of, it seems like your your playing time's been way up in, in Buffalo, like what's been, what's made this a good fit for you? Oh, it's been awesome, I mean, the guys are great, the coaching staff's unbelievable, um, just their communication, and just the way, the style they play, and how they want to play it, honestly, reminds me a lot of when I first came to Colorado here, and um, I mean, we're an up-and-coming team when we're young, so it kind of has that same feel of when I was first here in Colorado. And um, I think just the one nice thing is just the guys. Uh, everyone's, like, right around my age because we're a young team, so it's fun coming to the locker room every day. Everyone wants to get better, and, um, yeah, it's been great. So I've, I've been loving it so far. And to that point, Donnie's mantra is kind of play play fearless. How enjoyable is that for a player to, to play that way? Yeah, it's refreshing. It's nice. Um, you don't hear that a lot from coaches, and I think that's why Donnie's so good for our team here, um, especially with a lot of the young guys too. So um, he's all about not playing in your head and getting out of your head and uh, just going out and playing with instincts and um, just being the player you are. So it's, it's refreshing when you have that for sure. You just kind of alluded to it, but this Buffalo team's in, in a similar situation to where the Avs were a couple of years ago. Does that maybe help the fit a little bit that like you've, you've been through this, you kind of know what this looks like and be a bit of, be a, bit of a leader? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's weird. I'm like kind of a middle-aged guy on this team, but I have like a, a lot of games played, which is uh, which is different. I'm one of the veterans on this team, but um, yeah, it's 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 awesome. I've kind of been through that experience where I mean, you guys remember with the Az when we were building up and then made the playoffs there my my first year, my first full year. So um, it's a lot of similarities here. We have so much skill, and um, it's fun to be a part of. Must be cool. You've had you played with Kale, and now you're playing with Darlene, like two two pretty <laughs> special young yeah. young defensemen. Yeah, we were talking. Uh, Conf and I were talking about that at dinner last night. Just I mean, Darlene. I don't even think he gets enough credit for, for how good he is. I mean, he is incredible, just so smooth with the puck, and um, his skill is just outstanding. Him and Kale are kind of different players. Darlene's a little bit, I guess, like more poised with the puck and stuff like that, where Kale will kind of beat you with his speed and his explosiveness. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Two elite defenders for sure. How are you using the, your experience going from Colorado to Minnesota and helping benefit Buffalo in this case? Oh, uh, yeah, just trying to be a leader, I guess. Um, I went through a lot of, I guess, similar kind of experiences and whatnot, and um, a lot of young guys, too. So I was in a lot of their positions when they first came into the league and whatnot. And, uh, it's just cool to see how hungry they are to get better. Everybody wants to be out there early and staying out late afterwards and shooting pucks. And I mean, that's what Conf, McKinnon, and myself, we were all doing when we, when we were kind of making that push. Uh, and on the upwards trend, so it's it's definitely cool. Everybody has that hunger and desire to get better, and um, that's something that I kind of bring in this locker room too. I'm still trying to reach my full potential here and, and want to get better every single day, and um, it's just nice to see that that's kind of reciprocated throughout the locker room here. Is there a time in Colorado? How have you changed as a player? Um, yeah, I think uh, Colorado was great for me because I kind of molded into that PK forward and a little bit more of a defensive role, and that really helped shape my overall game for sure. So. Um, I mean, Betsy was awesome with, with that, with being on details on the defensive side and whatnot and um, kind of building that up. So um, I think that helped me in the long run, too, because I can play in situations now where maybe uh, before I wouldn't have been as comfortable in. So um, that's helped me for sure as a stepping stone. Tyson, how's your line kind of gelled here the last couple games? Victor's had a couple goals, and Asplund had a big play the other night. I mean, offensively, you guys are creating and contributing. Yeah, it's good to see. Um, that's what we want to do. So. Uh, I mean, obviously, Vic, he's an elite goal scorer. If you get him the puck and, and the slide, he's going to put it away, and that's fun to play with. But I think we're just trying to keep it keep it simple and try and get on pucks, and then once once we do get that puck, let our skill take over, and then it's fun to play. We can kind of rumble around in the offensive zone and, and do our thing. So it's nice to see that we're having some success. You've been here now a little, little bit. Is, has there been anyone on the Sabres that kind of maybe you got here and realized, like, oh, wow, they're better than I, than I realized just playing against them once or twice a year? Yeah, I mean, 
with a lot of the young guys like JJ and Quinner and, and Cuzzy, like I haven't seen those guys play yet. So um, just to see the scale and the potential that they have is something that I noticed for sure. And then obviously Tom, I played a little bit with Tom in, uh, in San Antonio there. Um, when I went down for my conditioning stand, that would have been like my first or second year in the league. So um, I knew what he was kind of all about, but just how he's kind of taken off is pretty cool. And then obviously Dolls, like I said, well, like I touched on before, he's incredible. I mean, I could keep going on. Like OP to Owen Powers, like he's so poised at the puck for a rookie defenseman as well. So you can just see a lot of potential in this team. It's cool. You got, you got to Buffalo just in time to get your name on one of the black and red throwbacks. Yeah, those jerseys are sweet. I love them. They're they're pretty cool. So um, yeah. I, Missed the snowstorm and, and got those nice jerseys. So, yeah. <laughs>